Right, welcome back to another Coins to Collect video. And as you can see, I have got some posts to open. I know I've got some badges and uh, stickers and things to open. We've got some coins to get into. And I've got a mystery package from Coin Cupboard. So yeah, I can't wait to find out what's in there. Okay, let's get on with the video. Okay, a load of posts. We'll start with these two because I'm pretty sure I know what's in them. We'll put those over to one side. Uh, this is probably gonna be the easiest one, fastest one to get through. And this one is uh, from Bungle. If you wanna send him anything, that's the address to do it. There we go. Now this should be, I, um, I nabbed the last set of badges that he had. On a, on a Sunday morning live stream. Uh, he had one more set of badges for sale and I, and I nabbed them. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're gonna be collector's items one day, but I thought I'll have them, I want them. And uh, I was really hoping for a note of authenticity to say the last badges of this set. Oh, there is a surprise, I didn't know that. I thought it was just a bit of cardboard to keep it, um, keep the uh, envelope sort of stiff sort of thing. And uh, Bank of Bungle, look at that. How many of them are out there? 100 bungles. Wow wait, I've never seen a 100 bungle note. I've seen five, 10, 20, 50s, but never a 100 bungles. 2,685 subs. Wowee, am I just like the luckiest person in the world? A hundred bungles. I wondered, oh man, would that be amazing if that was a one-off? That'd be cool. I like the little bungle and Lady M's around the outside. That's got really cool, which is a nice little touch. Oh dear, thanks bungle. Thank you, mate. Right, this should be from Taffy Coins. We did a bit of a badge swap. He said, he contacted me and said, do you want to do a badge swap? And I thought, why not? There we go, yes, definitely Taffy Coins. What else have we got in there? Loads of bits and bobs. Ooh, something extra. So we got some badges. We got, uh, is that a business card? Or a uh, like a courtesy card. That's quite a cool thing, isn't it? Stickers. I need to get some of these done, I think. So stickers, and we got some badges. Got a couple of badges. I only sent him three, and he's sent me all this lot. And a postcard, so uh, there you go. Hello, coins to collect. Thank you for agreeing to do the badge swap. I have added, what's that little squiggle? Um, some extras for you also. There you go, Kyle. Kyle, is it? Taffy Coins? Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate that. There we go, go and check out Taffy Coins. And what is this? I guess they could be world coins. Oh, what's that? Yeah, some world coins. Yeah, unfortunately I have absolutely no idea about world coins. <laughs> It's been a bit of a steep learning curve the last couple of years, just learning about English coins or British coins. What that is. Oh, that's quite cool. Looks like a little elf. I do like that typeface. 10 something, 1990. And it's like a little Eros <laughs> Piccadilly. <laughs> and then we get some bigger ones. 100. No, I can't even, I'm, I need to get my eyes sorted. I, I, I can't even read most of that. So let me know what that is. He looks a bit Greek. <laughs> or something like that. No idea, sorry Taffy. Again, it looks either Russian or... Okay, I, I think that fella's Greek again, isn't he? Yeah. Right, well thank you very much. Unfortunately, I have no idea what they are. It really is not my area at all. Um, 
uh, yeah, world coins, I just sort of pass them on to uh, Christopher or um, uh, Laughter. Gave some coins to Laughter last time, so next time I go to the Mint, I will put some of my other world coins that I found in the little trays of the coin machines. <laughs> I'll put them all together and I'll, I'll pass them on to uh, someone who can definitely appreciate them a bit more than me. Anyway, cracking on. Uh, this should be a coin. This should be a 1999 NIFC 10p coin. I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers it is. If it'll come out of the packet. Is it taped inside? Oh no, yes it was, yeah. Yes. 1999, 10p bunk. So that's cool. Now this is for my 10p album. So this will be getting ripped. Yeah, ripped out of this little coin flip. Um, or maybe it actually, uh, maybe it won't. There's something in the one of the other envelopes that I think, oh, I'll just bent it. Yeah, I'll explain it more in a minute. I'll explain more in a minute, but let me get this open. Can't see how you get it open. What the? There we go. Well, the coin flip's probably not much good anymore. I've just bent it down there. But anyway, yeah, 1999 Lion Bunk for my 10p coin uh, date run. This one, now, I ordered this off eBay. A couple of weeks went by and I sort of remembered that I'd ordered it. So I chased the seller and the seller said, no, we, we sent it out the next day. You know, you should have had it by now. Well, I hadn't. So I think that was on a Thursday or a Friday. I waited to the Monday and then I opened a, a case, a case, a, a report against the seller. Within about three hours, I'd had a notification saying, oh no, it's posted. Uh, you told me that it had already been posted. So only after I'd complained, they actually posted it. So maybe they just, were trying to scam me and didn't want to send the original or maybe they just thought oh, I will send you another one or something I don't know but the communication was just absolutely dreadful and I bought this uh, because I didn't think I was getting this and uh, right let me show you this is a 1999 wedding co co uh, wedding coin collection and I think this is, whose wedding was this? Oh, it's just, I think it's anybody's wedding. I think it was a royal wedding at first, but no, it's just in holy matrimony. I think it's like a gift. You could have sent people to love and to cherish. Yeah, no, never gonna happen. Um, yeah, so I think it's just an annual set, but as a, a wedding, gift but look at those stunning coins got me 10p that i was going to rip out i probably don't need to now but we got that great scottish lion 1p 5p 20p 50p 2p have you ever seen a rugby two pound coin looking so beautiful i'm uh, <laughs> i'm tempted to rip this open for the date run on the other coins this uh, rugby, get that into my change checker album as well as the one pound and use that 10p as my date run. And then I can just keep that in its <laughs> flip. It's probably easier, a lot, lot easier and a lot less hassle from you guys if I just rip that uh, flip apart and keep the uh, coin set, bunk set together. But uh, you know me, <laughs> I can't resist. Right, so then the other 1990 uh, annual um, bunk coin, uh, 10p bunk coin, was the 98 bunk. And I've got that here. Again, I was trying to buy the 10p, 
uh, loose, but um, just I couldn't find one or was getting beaten all the time. So in the end, it seemed a lot cheaper, a lot easier to buy this uh, 1998 annual set or uh, Brilliant Uncirculated Coin Collection. Uh, problem is, this is really nice actually. Or I have already had a look. <laughs> it's actually really nice. It's, oh dear. It's great portrait of the Queen right there. And you can stand it up. You can unfold it and stand it up. But it's got some, well, it's got some stunning coins. But it's that E stars that I really want to get out of there. Really do. But the thing that makes this is so great is it explains all the portraits. So you've got your first portrait of the Queen, the second, the IRB. No, that's the IRB, isn't it? That's got to be the IRB because obviously Jodie Clark hasn't, by 1998, Jodie Clark hadn't uh, done the fifth portrait. So one, two, three, four. Of course it's silly ass. One, two, three, and four. So yeah, just talks about all the um, portraits. So it is quite a nice set, really. Damn, but I really just want to rip it open. Oh, there's another page. Bit about Ian Rank broadly down the bottom there. Oh, it's got like a history of the one pound coin as well. So 1983, the Royal Arms, Scottish design, Welsh design, Northern Ireland, England designs. The 1988, the Royal Arms. It's got a list of all the names and everything on there of the one pound coins, which is quite cool. Well, like I say, I bought it to rip out that 10 P. So uh, you guys will have to start cam campaigning to stop me. <laughs> Mystery package. I have no idea what this is. I know it's from Andy at uh, Coin Cupboard. He wanted to send me something. Why not? Go ahead. But I have no idea what it is. Literally no idea. And I, I thought it was an album, an annual set actually, because it's quite bulky, but he just said, no, that's his uh, way of uh, packaging things. So there's a note. Oh, and he does package things well. Yo, hope you are well, Trev. A few older territory coins for your collection. All the best, Andy Coin Cupboards. Fantastic. And now he he seems to think that I've forgotten about these, and I I really don't remember him saying he was going to send me anything. But it might have been like over a year ago. So I, I've no, I literally have no idea, but I am with the, you know, he had me at territories. <laughs> I do love my territories. Getting there, we're getting there. Go for that one. Hey. <laughs> this is a mission. Navigating it. He, he does he does package his coins well. Oh my word. Here we can access them. <laughs> right, so what's this one? I think this is a pound coin, judging by its chunkiness. Oh it's two coins, he's trying to throw me off the scent. So that's a jersey. 64 maybe I can't really see oh, and that's a Guernsey three pence how cool is that what's the um, the pattern called again the outside 10p what's that Irish 10p 
You got more? Oh god, there's they're not just thick coins, there's two coins in every bundle. Oh, that's cool, look at that. Oh, are they the same? Isle of Man, 82 and 83. 1982. How cool are they? Some sort of falcon, kestrel. Cool. Well, they're they're brilliant. I like them. Those those I can understand. Tempe coins. What else we got? I bet you guys are laughing at me, aren't you? Thinking, oh, Trev, you just know nothing. Jersey, ten new pence. 1968. There we go. That's nice. I'm liking that. Another 10p. Wow. I reckon this is Isle of Man, isn't it? What do you think? Just from that ram. I reckon that's Isle of Man. That is a cool coin. Reminds me of one of those uh, penny black coins I've seen recently. The 50p's. 19. Thing that says 1984. Cool. Wow, we it's like a little treasure trove. <laughs> Didn't expect any of this. This is cool though. Another 10p. Jersey. Oh, there we go. A very significant year in my lifetime. <laughs> Say no more. Ah, oh, Jersey. See, now they're getting a bit more familiar. <laughs> Ten pence. 1987. Oh, wait. Were 10p's really that big and really that thick? Look at that. Oh, my God. Just can't remember them. Now, this is a pound coin, isn't it? This square one. 1966, Bailiwick of Guernsey. What year did I say it was? 1966, that's not a pound coin. William, King of England. Duke of Normandy. What? Huh, don't get that. Don't understand that one. Hmm. Yes. Comments, please, tell me, telling me what they are. I reckon another Isle of Man, 1980, oh nice one, Isle of Man again, but is that the House of Keys thingamajig? And that is 75 again, yay, 5p, cut more. Isle of Man. What else could it be? Uh, 1975 again. He must know. I think he must know. <laughs> That's a different Isle of Man. Manx Scallion. Is it a Scallion? The name of that? Not sure. No, it's not a Scallion. Try Scallion. <laughs> Try scallion maybe. Oh, got 50p. And 1980 again, Irish. 10p. Another one of those fishy ones. A 50p. Birdie. Big chunky 50p. Again, another Irish one. What's the year on that one? 80, 88. Wowee, right, so I need to sort of really sort myself out, educate myself, don't I? Right, well, thank you, Andy. You've given me something to think about and pushing me to sort out all my territory's coins. Brilliant, thank you, mate. I appreciate all that lot. Fantastic, so we got badges, some coins from, uh, Taffy coins as well as badges and stickers. So some world coins there. We got all these, these uh, like a greetings card or courtesy card, whatever it is called. Stickers, postcard. We got my albums, fantastic. 
There we go, loads of stuff. And where is the most important one? Where's that gone? Ah, it's under there. There you go, the prize. <laughs> the crowning glory of this uh, mail time video. 100 bungle notes. How jealous are you lot? There we go, fantastic. All right, <laughs> this has probably been quite a long video, so hopefully I can cut it down a bit. But thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Uh, thanks for staying to the end and watching. And if you have made it to the end of the video and you're not subscribed, well, maybe that's telling you something that you should be subscribed. So please go and do that. It would help me out immensely. Uh, hit that notification bell as well while you're there so you never miss another episode. But until the next video, please keep looking out for all those lovely coins to collect.